Hello everyone, a Vicious Vixen here and I finally have a video about my foundation routine. This is the bare bones of my routine, so things like blush colors or extra stuff I don't do in my normal routine won't really be mentioned. This is what my everyday foundation would be, so let's just jump into it. So before foundation, I always moisturize and I use the Clean and Clear Essentials Dual Action Moisturizer and have been for years now as a part of my facial routine. I have oily, acne prone skin, so I like that this has salicylic acid in it and it's kind of lightweight, which is nice since I don't like feeling a lot of stuff on my face. I always make sure the product is rubbed into my skin completely before starting the next step. For primers, I use two primers for different parts of my face. I use the e.l.f. putty primer and rub that in near my nose with my fingers. It fills in my pores without making my skin feel or look cakey, which is an issue I try to avoid. For the rest of my face, I've been using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and it really makes my product stick to it, which I usually have trouble with since I have oily skin. It gets tacky once it's rubbed in, but it isn't slimy, so you don't feel like you have a film of product on your skin. For foundation, I like to have a medium coverage and to be matte or at least soft matte. I'm not really worried about covering blemishes or my hyperpigmentation day to day, so this works really well for me. Since I don't like to feel cakey on my face, I dot my products where they need to be, and this also helps with saving product as well. I use the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in Fawn and put that under my eye, on my cheekbones, my forehead, nose bridge, tip of my nose, and chin. I use the NYX Born to Glow Foundation in Deep Sable and add that basically everywhere I didn't add concealer. I try to match my neck for my foundation so it is a little darker than my face, but I do blend it down so it's not really noticeable. I use a brush to spread out the products and blend them together and I go over that with a damp beauty sponge to make the finish softer. Once things are blended down, I add the NYX Studio Finishing Powder on a small powder puff and press that under my eyes first and then near my nose and my forehead. This powder is milled pretty finely and it doesn't usually give me any flashback trouble, so I've been using it for a while. I use the brush I applied my foundation with to dust the rest of the powder around my face. I do this because the leftover foundation blends with the powder, so it helps get rid of that white cast as I'm blending away the product. I go over everything again with the damp sponge, and that helps with making me look less dry, but I'm still matte, which is what I prefer. For contouring, I don't do much, and I use a brown eyeshadow for that. I've never really been a fan of cream or liquid contours, and since I usually only contour my cheekbones, I didn't really invest in a contouring kit or a specific product. I've been using the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in Chocolatier, and I take that on a dense flat brush. Since my hyperpigmentation is basically under my cheekbones, I use that as a guide and add the color there, blending it out slowly. If it gets too dark, I just use my foundation brush and sponge to fix it, but since I usually start pretty slow, I don't end up going too intense too fast with the color. Everything after that is dependent on the look. So blush, extra contouring or highlighting, adding freckles, etc. It depends on what I'm going for or what I'm in the mood for. And that is it. I'll link in the cards the look that I recorded while filming this routine, so if you're interested, go check that video out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye